Hey guys, Marlo back again with yet another toy review. This time it's for the NECA Godzilla 2001 Atomic Blast figure. Now basically, if you've been collecting these figures from NECA, from the uh, Godzilla series, uh, and you have the 2001 Godzilla that was previously released before, there should be no surprise that this is basically just a repaint of that figure. So, <clears throat> just a quick look at the figure and package, standard clamshell package that we've seen already from previous Godzilla figures and other NECA figure releases. Same artwork there. Wish they'd change that. It's really bad looking in my opinion. And the back of the package, which looks pretty cool. That would have been much cooler at the front, if you ask me. So, let me open up the figure and give you guys a closer look. At... Alright, and outside of the package, you can see the figure itself comes with the atomic blast effect here. Just one separate piece. And like the other Godzilla figures, you have the tip of the tail portion, which you have to basically plug into the ball joint at the end of the tail there. So let me get that attached and have them posed up for you and give you guys a closer look. Alright, so here's Godzilla with the blast effect. And I'll give you guys a quick look at the paint job. Again, he's basically the same Godzilla 2001 figure that we've seen already. Nothing different, just a repaint. But a really cool repaint, if I may add. I think he'll stand out on the shelf. Really vibrant. Nice colors there, the blues and the whites. So it'll really uh, differentiate himself from the previous release. I do have the other Godzilla, but not with me, unfortunately, so I can't really do a side-by-side -side comparison. I wish I did, so, you know, unfortunately I can't. And something I noticed with my Godzilla, I don't know if you can notice it there, but I have the wrong feet. At least on the right side, they gave me two left feet, so I'm going to have to try to... Uh, return this or get an exchange for a Godzilla with the proper feet so that's kind of a bummer there but a closer look at the fins and with the tail attached the end of the tail like all the other Godzilla figures it's kind of rubberized and there is a wire inside so you can bend it it's a bendy tail <clears throat> and like the other NECA Godzilla figures it is segmented so that you can pose them and move the tail in different positions. There's rotation at the feet. The knees. At the upper legs. Elbows. Wrists. The hands, they close. So really great articulation, which we can expect from NECA figures. The neck there, the mouth does open and close. Give you guys a good look at the face. And the crazy paint scheme with the atomic effect. And basically just simply plug in that effect into the mouth like so. Maybe close the lower jaw a little bit. And uh, there you have it just like in the uh, image there on the artwork. So something cool, something different, pretty neat. Oh, let me uh, do a comparison with the recent uh, Shin Godzilla. At least I have that with me. So you can compare the size of the Shin Godzilla with the... Atomic Blast Godzilla 2001. Let's see, the Shin Godzilla has a much longer tail. But overall, they're 
close in height, the Shin Godzilla being taller. He should be a lot taller, actually, if you're going to be more movie accurate, but uh, all in all, pretty cool. And I suppose you could also swap out the ray effect, though in the movie I believe Shin Godzilla has more of a purple uh, atomic blast effect, but you can kind of do something like that. There's Shin Godzilla <laughs> with the atomic blast effect. And you can pretty much interchange this, I suppose, with any of the other Godzillas. So I don't know why they didn't think about that previously, but I guess they can always release some uh, future repaints using this effect. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like the video, share the video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, take care and keep on collecting. Bye-bye.